I've taken your stories home to correct them, and have noticed you've got many problems with your writing. But the story I wrote was great. The plot was great, very interesting, and funny. But if you have got problems at writing your sentences, your ideas will be lost. Do you remember when we began analyzing sentences? We tried to define what a clause was. Yes, when we group words together to express a whole proposition. If I say the dog's running, is it a clause? Yes, that's a main clause, isn't it? Great, Lucy. Remember that main clauses stand alone and can be separated into a subject and a predicate. Could you provide an example? It could be my dad works in an office. Right now I remember. Well, that's good. Who can tell me what the subject and the predicate of a clause is? The subject is the part of the clause which represents the doer or origin of an action, a person, an object, or an animal. If I say Karina is preparing lunch for her family, what's the subject in this clause? Karina. Very good. The subject is overt because it is present in the clause. Is it simple or compound? Simple, as it's got only one noun phrase. Excellent. Sometimes the subject presents two noun phrases or more. They're the clauses with compound subject. Who can change the previous sentence so that its subject is compound? Karina and her dad are preparing lunch for their family. Bear in mind that the subject needs to be at the beginning of the clause. It cannot be in the middle or at the end of it. Who can provide another example of a clause with compound subject? Michael and Matt always study their math lessons. Perfect. The predicate is what we say about the subject. In the first clause, the predicate is is preparing lunch for her family. That's what Karina is doing. Excellent. What about in the clause in which Karina is cooking with her dad? It's are preparing lunch for their family. It's a simple predicate, as there's only one verbal phrase in it. Just one verb. Very well. Remember that the main component of the predicate is the verb. Who can provide now an example of a clause with a compound predicate? The students of the fifth year play and have breakfast during the break. What's the subject of that clause? The students of the fifth year. Well, play and have breakfast is the compound predicate. What are the verbs of that predicate? Play and have breakfast. Great, play and have breakfast. Two verbs. Well, that's enough for today. Could you read something of that to me? Yes, it's just that sometimes I get lost with the characters on this story. It must be because many objective pronouns have been used not to repeat the nouns. Is it possible? If you read it carefully, you'll certainly find a nearby noun for each pronoun. I think you're right. I got lost because I wasn't reading carefully. Let's start all over again, Granny. Please read me a story as when I was just a little boy. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the questions. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya.